Hey guys, it's MJ, the student at Tree, and I think I'm busy mining Bitcoin. So I've got two accepted. I don't know what that actually means. Um, I'll show you here. I'm busy mining using my GPU, which is the graphic processor. And this is like the information that has been popping out. Um, how I did it was I downloaded something called MacMiner. Just followed the steps. Um, I, don't, I guess I shouldn't be showing my password online. Uh, <laughs> not the smartest thing to do. But anyway, I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of Bitcoin. So I downloaded a, a mine onto the computer. I then joined a pool. You can check. I have one worker um, running there. It's very low because, I mean, I'm just using an old Mac to do this. Guys have got dedicated hardware to do it. Um, then if I come here... Hopefully the, the Bitcoin I make will, because that's my little key that I then use to, on this thing. As you can see, I actually don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. And I mean, if we touch, oh, that is hot. That is, that is very hot. And I mean, I've just started this. So, <laughs> but like I said, this was an old Mac that's just sitting there. It is very slow. Um, so I thought, hey, why not? Why not attempt to, to mine some Bitcoin? And you know, let's see how this goes. There, you can see it's busy solving some stuff. But, oh no, I didn't get anything from that pool. So, or I don't know, it does something with blocks. And then you can see, I've got two so far. I've got two so far. And, but I've got nothing from this new one. And yeah, that's... That's how it is. So what I think I've got, I've got the miner, which is this program here. That then joins to the pool, which is over here. And then that will give me, say, some rewards. Uh, oh, are these my rewards? Well, no, I think these are just the, the reward history for the pool in total. Um, not for me. Um, well, let's see. You know, this is, I think this is for me. No, it's not for me. I, I don't know. Like you, like I can, <laughs> as you can see, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but as I understand, I will get something of a reward over here in the pool. And then the pool will pay me back into my wallet over here. And then, so if you want to pay me Bitcoin, just type that amount in and you can send me Bitcoin. Not that you'd want to do that. And then I can use that to purchase some other things on the internet. So yeah, that is a very short video on me attempting to, to mine Bitcoin. Um, it's a lot of fun, although I'll let it run overnight and then I might probably turn it off to, to save the poor computer. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers. Guys, just a quick update. I found another one and look at that. Look at that. That is my reward. I have successfully mined like one millionth I think of a bitcoin which is worth less than than the air I'm probably breathing but there it is it has been done I can now take this off the bucket list I have successfully mined a fraction of a bitcoin thanks for watching hey guys so this is day two or day three of the, the Bitcoin modeling, or it's the second morning. And let's see what is going on. Oh wow, look at this. So my worker station is at least not red this time. Um, that's all the activity. What's interesting is this follows a cumulative distribution function. So as an actuary, we should be quite comfortable with what that means. That's the amount of workers that are online. And, okay, so what I have is I have 15 micro Bitcoin uh, that I've got and unconfirmed because what happens is you accept certain blocks and you can see sometimes you reject because people double spend or they do some type of stuff like that. So we've accepted one of these blocks, but we're not sure if the rest of the network has accepted it. And I mean, if we just come here to rewards... Yes, it was a bit of a bad day in the sense that it took 
13 hours to do the one block. Then the next one took eight hours. Okay, then it just took 113 minutes. Where you can see it normally, I mean, that one only took 25 minutes. So it is a little bit of a, a lottery type of system. There is this random element to it, which is quite exciting. But even more exciting than this. So what I'm doing here is I'm using my graphics card to, to solve some stuff. There's something else called storage and oh no, that's not what I want to show you where is storage yeah it's this thing and you use this thing called drive share and what you do is you earn a cryptocurrency by renting out your hard drive space so I mean that sounds pretty cool um, and it looks pretty simple I tried to start the program and it was a complete failure. Um, I was going to get about 15 gigs. Um, but yeah, it kind of like just froze on me. So I need to still figure out how, how to do that. Because um, as you can see, I've got a lot of free space on this device. So I'd actually be performing much better doing the storage thing than renting out my graphics card which is on a very old device. So having said that, I think it's going to be a sad moment, but I think we are going to stop the mining process. I mean, like I said, this is, this is, yeah, it's hot. It's been doing this for, for two and a half days. So let's stop. No. So it was a fun little experiment. Um, but those are my, my Bitcoin mining days over. Unless you've got dedicated hardware, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be um, rolling in the cash. I mean, there are a whole bunch of other cryptocurrencies that you can have a go at, but I don't know, maybe explore this one, storage. And um, to show, if you rent out a thousand gigabytes, they say you could make $10 a month. That's not bad, that's not too bad at all. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Cheers.